we're just going to finish up tightening the thumb screws here for the mirror cell. So the mirror is in there, the cell is locked up in its place. So now what you're going to do is take the mirror box and tip it back. And now using either the two carry handles here, or some people prefer to grab the uh, altitude bearings here and here, or whichever way is more comfortable for you. I tend to like the bearings. You're going to pick this up and walk it over to the rocker box, which you should have unpacked. And it's going to drop in. Now one thing to note is that the front of the rocker box is the taller of the two sides. So you have two sides that are the same with the altitude bearing cutouts. Then there's the front, which is taller than the back, which is really short. So you just want to make sure that you get the mirror box and the rocker box in the right orientation, like so. All right. Okay, so now that we have the two of those together, the next step is to come over and take your truss poles out of your truss carry case. All right, so it's just a little clip here that you loosen. And then you have your eight poles. Now, were this to be a, a Teeter's telescope with a dew heater option, uh, one of the poles would come with an RCA cable attached to it, which you would have to uh, put in a specific location on, on, the, uh, on the mirror box. Uh, this one does not, so these poles can go in in any order. There's no top, there's no bottom. Uh, they're both the same top and bottom, and they're not numbered. So any pole can go into any socket here on top of the mirror box. Now, uh, some people, when they first uh, get a Teeter's telescope, they want to take the first two poles or take one pole at a time. I always uh, encourage people to take two poles. And some people want to put them into the same block and do something like this and then try to tighten them up. Uh, what's easier and going to be a lot faster for everybody in the field is if you take the two poles and put them in two separate blocks but on the same side of the telescope so that if you're right-handed, for example, you could take your left hand and put them on top of the poles here to hold them in a triangular formation, like a truss, and then take your right hand and take and tighten up uh, the blocks here. Now these you want to get fairly tight, about as tight as you can get uh, with your hands. So um, it's always best to snug them up as tight as you can in the beginning rather than going light and then going back and trying to uh, tighten them up later. So once we get them nice and tight, so again, just to show you the best, easiest way to do this is to take the poles and put them on the same side of the telescope with two different blocks. And then mate up at the top, and then tighten up down at the bottom. And uh, we'll come back, we'll have all the poles in, and uh, we'll do the installation of the upper tube assembly.